Holy smokes. All right, guys, Cutterboy32 here. Check it out. What we're looking at today, this is the range review of the CZ Shadow 2. Here we go. Stand by. All right, guys, the CZ Shadow 2 is a double action single action. That means you can pull the trigger from rest, or you can go into a full cock mode and pull it in single action. The slide on this thing's made of steel. It's nitrate covered. It's got stair ratios on the front and the back. God, that trigger sweet. All right, the cool thing about this thing is look at this slide. Those contoured sides, they're a little bit different from your regular SP01. The frame is also made of steel. It comes with a 4.98 inch barrel on it. It's match grade and it's cold hammer forged. All right, the cool thing about this thing is you can shoot it in a condition one status where if you're in the competition, you can keep it in locked and cocked. And when you come up in the target, bring it off of there. And you're starting with the hammer back. Single action only. Man, what is a great feature. What does he say? He Be classy, Cincinnati, uh, San Diego, and I'm... the question mark at the end of the prompter. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Woo. All right, guys, so the frame on this thing's made of steel also, and I want you to take a look at something. It comes with an accessory rail in here, one slot only, but you've got beautiful checkering on the front and on the back strap. Now, if you look at this thing back here, you'll see that it's cut in further with an extended beaver tail to give you a really good purchase, even more so than you normally would find on a CZ. All right, guys, so here it is. We're going to do the range review quick. Quick. So my range review consists of a couple things. We're going to go over the safety features, recoil, trigger, actuation. Uh, we're going to go over the muzzle flip. We're going to go over the ejection pattern. And then we're going to take it over and see how accurate it is. I can make it, and it will go from there. Here we go. All right, so let's talk about ergonomics. First of all, just first of all, take a look at this thing. It is absolutely one of the most perfect firearms ever made. The slide release, the ergonomics that make this different. You've got the slide release, extended safety features on it, this indented back here, the checkering unbelievable. I love the magazine ejector button. Extended. In this particular model, you can actually put it in three different positions. Really, really cool. Look at the shine on it. Wow. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is a trigger pull. Now, again, this thing is a double action, single action. So the first trigger pull we're going to do is the double action. The key to a double action is not necessarily the weight, but it is the pull. How smooth is it? Not bad. Now, there is the reset. Beautiful. Watch this, guys. There's the take up. Probably looking at about a two and a half, three and a half pound pull. Beautiful. All right, guys, so the rear sights are adjustable for windage and elevation, and you got a nice fiber optic sight on the front. Here we go. Let's take a look and see how she looks. Stand by. As you can see, the rear sights are blacked out, and you got a little bit of room between the front and the rear and the blade. But you can definitely tell and see. That front sight. Let's see if we can get it focused in on that thing. There we go. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful. Man, that's a good looking gun. Check that thing out. All right, guys. Well, we got the range to ourselves, so we're going to bust ass and get this done. So here we go. Uh, as always, we're going to do a systematic test here. Now, what we're going to do now is the accuracy with both hands. And this, again, this is my first time really shooting this gun at a target other than down range. It's doing ever. We're going to do top left. I'm going to do the first series in double action, and then we're going to back that up in single action. So here we go. Top left. Anywhere at five yards. I'm going to say we did okay there. All right, so now what we're going to do 
is we're gonna do right hand unsupported. Right hand unsupported, top right target. Here we go. I'm gonna go from the single action here. Here we go. Not bad, I'm getting used to that trigger. It's gonna be kind of nice. All right, so now we're gonna do left hand unsupported, bottom left side. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot from the single action. Here we go. <laughs> I think I hit the wood there, but I'm glad I didn't kill anything. All right, so stand by, we're gonna do a fast shoot, a point of view, and that's it. Here we go, stand by. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out on the line. We're gonna do uh, accuracy test, fast action. We're gonna do it at the center target. Real hot out here, kind of sweaty. And I'm gonna go from the single action. We're gonna come up, I'm gonna sweep the, tr the safety and go from there. But the center target, I'm gonna try to, best I can, as fast as I can. Here we go. <laughs> Damn it, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next what we're going to do is the point of view. I'm going to show you what this thing looks like while it's pointing at a target. Here we go. All right, so we're at the five-yard line. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to shoot at that bottom right target. Let's go see if we can go ahead and get these sights zeroed in a little bit better. And we're working with some low light level. Here we go, single action. Get that thing to focus in. Yeah, not bad <laughs> shooting through the camera. There we go. And again, like I said, these things are adjustable for both windage and elevation. Not bad. All right, so another test we like to do is the muzzle flip and recoil. And that's what I'm going to do right now is a fast shoot. So you can see exactly what the control. Now the advantages of this particular, the Shadow 2, is its weight. There has a lot of weight out here in the front, which reduces the muzzle flip, as well as this nook right here under the beaver tail gets your purchase way up in there and reap it. <laughs> well, watch. I'm gonna put that back in slow motion here in a few minutes. Let's try that again. I want you guys to take a look at the muzzle and see the heavy weight on the front and the heavy purchase prevents the muzzle flip and the rise. Here we go. Mmm, very nice. All right, guys, so right now what we're going to do, I'm at the 25-yard line. We're going to sandbag the gun, see how accurate we can do at the big target down there. I've got a camera on it. Now... These are the Acme 115 grain 9 millimeter bullets. We're loaded up with, I think, exactly 4.0 grains of uh, tight group. So, go ahead, throw out a couple rounds at it, and see how close I, not necessarily it, <laughs> but how I can get on. Sandbagging the daylights out of it. Here we go. Don't, that don't look too good. <laughs> I think my sight picture of my eyes are screwed up. I'm going to call on my uh, firearms expert, Lance, and see if he can go ahead and give it a shot.
not bad. That trigger is sweet. Yeah, that trigger is sweet. All right, guys, one of the most overlooked tests in a firearm is the ejection pattern. Now, I've included that in on my range test, so we're going to see what this thing does. Now, it's an all metal gun, big old recoil spring, and here we go. Check it out. Eh, not too bad. All right, with the reloads, uh, the ejection was substantial and sufficient. Well, guys, that's it, man. This is the final, <laughs> this is my assessment of the CZ Shadow 2. First of all, let me just say, this thing, is it meets and exceeds any and all expectations that I've ever had. This is a, a pistol's pistol. This is a guy who wants to shoot a gun. This is the pistol that you want. This is... Anything that is probably up there with any of your finest 1911s. I'm really looking forward to doing a range review on the CZ TSO, uh, Tactical Sport Orange, and seeing how it compares with this guy right here. But I'm going to tell you something. I am terribly impressed. Would I recommend buying it if you have the means? Yeah, absolutely. Nothing says I love you like this beautiful beast. Man, what a gorgeous gun. Look at that thing. Unbelievable. You got the extended mag release, safety, ambidextrous safety. Just so many features on this firearm. Just unbelievable. Look at that machined hammer, adjustable rear sight, serrations on the front and rear, beveled slide, true CZ fashion. It runs inside the lower frame. And the trigger system is unbelievable. All right, so guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave any comments or questions down below. I'd be happy to get back to you. Hope you enjoyed this video. I forgot to tell you about the striations on the top of the slide. But man, this is awesome. It's Cutterboy32, support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. It's Cutterboy32, out.